In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to fix the no signal problem and please reconnect your HD60S to USB 3 port problem right now. So you might be wondering why your new HD60S is not working on your PC and you cannot see the picture coming from it from the game capture software. Well, don't worry. I've had this problem multiple times before and I'm going to teach you how to fix it with absolute ease. So the most common thing that usually causes this to happen is actually plugging in the USB cable into the wrong port on your case or on your motherboard, which causes it so it can't be captured. So I'm going to show you how to fix it. But before we get into fixing it, I want to say a quick thank you to everyone who's subscribed to the YouTube channel so far. We just hit 100 subscribers. So very thankful. So if you want to do me that favor, get in subscribe so you don't miss any more of our awesome tech content. We're aiming for 1,000 subscribers before next summer. Very much appreciated. For right now, though, let's show you how to fix it. So the first thing we want to do is identify where the USB cable from a capture card is plugged into our PC. So we're just going to unplug the capture card from the PC and feed the cable back to us. That way, we can re-plug it into a different port. Now that we got our hands on our cable that we feed it out of the PC, of course, what we want to do is take this cable and plug it into the USB ports on our PC until it works. Now, what you're going to do is actually pretty straightforward. Just keep plugging it in, then refresh the game capture software every time you plug it on in. That way, once it actually does work, you'll actually see a picture of the device working. And if it does bug out, what you got to do is actually pretty straightforward. Just close the game capture software, reopen it, or you might want to restart your PC and then it should work perfectly fine. So I want to give you guys a quick reminder that this problem does occur when you plug the capture card into the wrong USB port. So make sure to plug it into a USB 3, not USB 2, because if you plug in USB 2, you'll have this problem again, which I've already taught you how to fix it. So you can always just watch this video over again, fix it that way, which is absolutely awesome. I would recommend though, you double check your USB ports on your case and also on your motherboard by checking with the manufacturer or the manual, because usually the case will of course have USB 3 ports, but sometimes you might have an older case, which might not have the latest ports, but who knows? You Always check with the manufacturer manual to figure it out that way i'm glad i could help you if i could if i couldn't i'm sorry but hey i'm here to help you in the future videos so if you did enjoy this video today and you did find it helpful make sure to smash the like button get subscribed so you don't miss any more of our cool tech content and don't forget to check us on twitch we do stream there of course every monday wednesday friday link down below to our tech channel not tech channel twitch channel if you want to ask me more questions about tech down there feel free to until then i'll see you guys on a tech video tech grant out